Hey guys, welcome back. This is Deepesh from Freshersworld.com. So today we'll be seeing for loops in Kotlin. So and also we'll be seeing a lead code solution to solve using for loops. So we'll just take a simple, uh, easy program in a lead code. So going forward in our tutorials, we'll try to solve some lead code questions and this will help us to practice Kotlin in a better way. So firstly, I'll just try to explain you how a for loop works in Kotlin. So I can say for i in 0 until 3. So I want to print some values. So I can say print ln of i. So let me show you how a simple for loop works. So I'm just printing from 0 till 3. Now my idea is to solve the simple lead code problem using Kotlin. So I just want to find the target value 9 by adding any of these numbers. So basically if I add 2 plus 7 that will be my target number 9 and I have to return the indexes of 2 comma 7 that's my 0 and 1. So I have another program here which says 3 2 4 is my input and my target is 6. That means like 2 plus 4 is 6 and the output should be 1 and 2 is because the index is 0, 1, 2. So my index value is 1 and 2. So we'll just try to code this using Kotlin so that we'll have some hands-on experience while giving interviews. So a simple syntax of how we run a for loop is here, but how do I solve that problem? So basically I have to create my input. So I say val input is equal to array of input so this I'll copy this and I'll paste it here and then my target so my target is 9 so I want to run a for loop for this input so how do I write a simple for loop 0 until when I just have to run the loop until my input runs out so input dot size yes perfect so now let me print i and let's see it's working yes i have zero one two three four so this is my i but i'm not printing any input so if i want to print the input what i'm iterating through i just have to say inputs of i this is my two seven eleven and fifteen so my program here is to find the target value 9 by adding the indexes. So I will not worry more on time complexity to solve this program because my intention is to show Kotlin programming rather than solving the time complexity solutions here. Going forward, this can be solved in an optimized way. We'll see that in the upcoming videos. But now I just want you guys to understand the for loop in a better way. So my idea to solve this program is like, I'll just take two first and then add it with 7 then 2 plus 11 then 2 plus 15 and check if it is target okay the neck in the next loop i want to add 7 plus 11 and 7 plus 15 and then 11 plus 15 so I just want to iterate the loop. So my I would be 2, 7, 11, and 15. Uh, the inner loop would be 7, 11, 15. Then the inner loop again starts with I has 7, and then inner loops is 11 and 15. Then my outer loop is 11, my inner loop will be 15. So basically, uh, you know, I just want to find the solution which sums up to the target and just want to print it. So I'll write another for loop for J in i so it should start from i until input dot size so let me print out what is the value of i and j so you'll understand what exactly we are doing here so i print i and j okay so let's print out i and j so you can see i'm pr printing the combination of 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. so if you want it to be more clear i print it as input of i and input 
blockchain. So now I'm iterating over a loop. So you can see the input. So first I consider two and two and two, then I consider two and seven and two and 11 and two and 15. Next, in the next iteration, I start with uh, seven and seven, seven and 11, seven and 15. In the next iteration, 11 and 11, 11 and 15. So I'm just iterating over the loop. So basically I want you guys to understand the concept of for loop in Kotlin, not really an solution for this program in an optimized way. We'll just look at the solution uh, in an optimized way going forward, but my aim is to make you understand loops. I want to solve lead code problems so that while you look into this video, you already have learned lead code uh, solutions for such interview questions. So by looking onto this video, you already have solved one lead code question, plus you know the concept of for loop. So now my idea is if input of i plus input of j equal to target, then I print i and j. Okay, perfect. So now uh, my solution is two plus seven is nine. So this is what I, is my target and this is what would be printed. So now we'll give various inputs to this and also try our program. But for now, I just want you to know zero and one as the index, right? Zero, two plus seven is nine. So basically I'll take another input, which is three, two, four, and my target is six. Let me try if this still works. Three, two, four, and my target is six. So the output now should be one and two. Let me try. Yes. So we have zero, zero, one, two, but why? Because uh, my index is three and three gives me uh, six and then two plus four gives me six. So three is being added twice. So I can start with I in one, or so now let me run the program yeah it's one and two because i'm just starting with the same index zero that's why it's zero and zero so my output now is one and two so it's a simple program so our idea is to find the index of two numbers which match the targets so basically this is a simple lead code solution and we have now explored how it can be run a for loop in kotlin so thank you please stay tuned to solve more lead code questions and also to see the concepts of Kotlin. Thank you so much.